Hey, Pastor Randy here. Well, it's a beautiful weekend. Sometimes we just need a little rest. Actually, it's Labor Day weekend. And that's given so that workers who labor can have a day of rest, a special day. And God wants us to be able to have rest. You know, sometimes things get really hard and they get really difficult and we get tired out. I know that happens to me sometimes too. But I'm glad that God doesn't just leave me in a place where I have to just struggle and worry and have problems. And uh, Jesus wants to help me. And the Bible tells us that we can come before him, before his throne of grace, as he sits on the throne, and he gives us help to help us in our time of need. And he wants to help you and me along the way. But sometimes we have to ask for help. And as we come to him and ask, you can know that God will help you because he cares about every single thing that happens in your life. We're going to talk about that today in our online kids' church. Who do you think will be behind the door? Matthew eleven twenty eight. Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. What does it mean to be burdened? Well, picture it this way. It's like a donkey would carry a pack that's full of weight, that's full of uh, tools, that's full of supplies. And it'd probably be too heavy for a person to carry, so maybe they'd have the donkey carry it or the horse carry it. That would be like a burden. Maybe it's like a giant backpack that's full of books. You could say that's like carrying a burden. That, that's kind of the picture. You know, during the Olympic series, we talked about running the race. Can you imagine having to run a race if you had to carry like a heavy, heavy backpack? It'd be hard to be the winner, that's for sure. It makes it far more difficult. And sometimes we have things in our lives that seem to weigh us down. Maybe it's worries, maybe it's problems, maybe it's struggles, maybe it's expectations of other people or expectations of ourselves. And they make us feel like we're weighted down so we can't go as fast or as far as really we feel like God wants us to go. Well, that's why Jesus says, come to me. He says, and I will help you. He says, if you're weary and burdened, I will give you rest. Jesus wants to help us. Who do you think will be behind the door? In Matthew chapter 7, Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he says, Ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Everyone who asks will receive. He who searches will find. The door will be open to the one who knocks. You know, we can ask our Heavenly Father, that's right, our Father God, for anything in the name of Jesus. And we can expect God to do great things.
In Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 and 8, it records what Jesus said. He said, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. And actually, if we go back to how that was originally written, see, it wasn't first written in English. It was written in Hebrew. And so the exact words actually mean this. Ask and keep on asking. Seek and keep on seeking. Knock, keep on knocking, and the door will be open to you. You see, we don't just ask one time, but we keep on asking. If it's important, we keep on praying. That's what this certain woman did. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care what people think, Yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. Who do you think will be behind the door? Oh, hello! Welcome to Kids Church Online! In Hebrews chapter 4, it records one of my favorite passages of Scripture. It talks about Jesus and what he went through and how he helps us. This is what it says. We have a great high priest, that's Jesus, who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God. Let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses. You see, he understands us. But was in all points tempted as we are, yet he was without sin. Let us therefore Come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may find mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. We come before the throne of God. And it's not a throne of judgment, but it's a throne of grace, where God shows his love and reaches out to help us, even though we really don't deserve it sometimes. He gives us his mercy and his grace to help us in our times of need. You can come to Jesus and he will help you. can trust Jesus so you can call on him and know that he will help you. Now, have a great week and I'll see you around like a donut. <laughs>